what's your take on on just generally where where Piston GA is now and where it's headed in the future? You know, in the next five or ten years. There's a new reality, Mike. I've mentioned it to you before, and we've become a little bit complacent. And there's been some recent accidents that have focused on this. But the you know, 20 years ago, the age of the fleet was 25 years. Right now, the age of the average age of the fleet is nearly 45 years. Mm-hmm. And our approach to maintaining the fleet of airplanes that are now geriatric, they're still beautiful airplanes. Most of them have been well maintained, but there's issues there. And we need a different approach. And I think you've outlined maybe some, some uh, initial approaches to that that are workable. There was another one just last week involving a leaking uh, fuel drain, leaking 100 low lead uh, from an old uh, O-ring that was leaking that was a 35 or 40-year-old O-ring. I think the utility uh, is got a, the same benefits that it had in the 1960s and 70s for the owners. Uh, there is an enormous amount of interest among young people in learning to fly. I've never seen anything like what's going on with that. My God, give AOPA blessed credit for initiating that high school aviation program. Uh, That program, believe it or not, actually started at our high school in Ada, Oklahoma. Uh, We've got a high school uh, uh, hands-on tech class that are building a home-built airplane as, as part of their high school curriculum right now. So there's a lot of enthusiasm among that younger generation uh, that's being generated. Uh, and so I think that speaks well for the future of aviation. 